Jesus Christ repeatedly said, Whatsoever you ask in my name, I will do it. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask the Father anything in my name and he will do it. What exactly did he mean? Did he mean that we can just use the in the name of Jesus at the end of every request and God will do it? The name of Jesus is not a magic word. It's not a magic word that you can just put it at the end of any prayer. You pray whatever you want and sign it off in the name of Jesus and it's done. The name of the person contains the nature of the person. But before I share this, let me go to the parable of the grain of wheat. So Jesus said, right before he was crucified, he said, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. So unless a grain of wheat dies, it remains alone. So Jesus was saying this, the Almighty God has sent me from heaven to earth and I am the grain of wheat. Unless I die and fall into the ground, I remain alone. Jesus Christ was the only person on the face of the earth with the nature of God, with the holiness of God in himself because he himself was God. So he was the only grain upon the face of this whole earth, the, ho the only grain of God. And he was saying, unless I die and fall into the ground, I remain alone. So Jesus was saying, if I don't die, it will be just me. But if I go to the cross and if I die, I will produce much fruit. So he went to the, to the cross, he was buried, he was raised, and then he poured forth his Holy Spirit upon every believer. So every believer who has who, who believes in Jesus Christ and receives the Holy Spirit, now Jesus Christ dwells in them. Now, right before he was crucified, he also says to his disciples, until now, so he is about to go to the, to the cross and says to his disciples, until now, you have asked nothing in my name. So up until this moment, we were together for three years. We walked. I taught you. You've seen the miracles, the signs, and the wonders. Up until now, you have asked nothing in my name. In my name or in my nature. But from now on, ask in my name. And whatever you ask in my name, God will do it for you. So Jesus Christ, the grain, died and it produces fruit. It produces much grain. And now the Holy Spirit dwells in the disciples. And what Jesus is saying is, if you ask anything in my nature, if you ask anything that the Holy Spirit is telling you to ask, the Father in heaven will do it. If you ask anything in the Holy Spirit, in the nature that I will put in you, the Father in heaven will do it, and he will do it that the Father might be glorified in the Son. So when he poured forth the Holy Spirit to dwell in us, the Holy Spirit gives desire to the person. And when the person and the Holy Spirit come in agreement and the person prays according to what the Holy Spirit says, it will surely be done unto you. Jesus basically is saying that whatsoever the Holy Spirit puts in you, if you pray it, the Father in heaven will do it. You cannot pray in the nature of the flesh, because the Holy Spirit will not agree with you. But if you agree with the nature of Jesus Christ in you, and if the Holy Spirit gives you something and you pray it, 
Surely I say to you, whatsoever you ask my Father in heaven will do it. Another teaching Jesus, Jesus gave us. Surely I say to you, if the two of you agree on anything that they ask on earth, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. He is not talking about two people agreeing in the flesh. He is talking about you and the Holy Spirit agreeing. So if you and the Holy Spirit agree, whatsoever you ask of the Father, He will do it. So ask the question, what is it in you? What desires is the Holy Spirit giving you? What wishes, what prayers, what prayer requests is the Holy Spirit giving you? Because if you agree with the Holy Spirit, whatsoever you will pray in agreement with the Holy Spirit, the Father in heaven will do it for you.